Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome, welcome, welcome back to Mother 3. It is. Okay, so I recorded this. I recorded this. Um, I'm. Re I'm recording this. Yeah. Um. Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm like really tired because this is like. Ah. Uh. Okay, so I reloaded my old save. I re I'm recording this after I leave my old save because um, I started I started getting my ass kicked super bad by those trees. I used up like all my items, and also I know for a fact that I missed a ton of presents. So what I've done between this episode and the last episode, yeah, is uh, I um, I went back I went back down. I picked up some of the items I missed. I did some leveling as well. So also I'm going to avoid the fuck out of these trees. I'm going to avoid, because I know, because I know from being spoiled by the internet that uh, the boss, that the boss is coming up, and this is the last time I play as Flint, which makes me, which I'm kind of annoyed that I got spoiled on that. But when I started googling and looking around for ways to play the game good, I was trying to get good essentially, and the game was ruined. So what's coming up next? It's another shoe. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be a boss, so I'm gonna just be a shitlord and cheat and just save the game. Because fuck if I lose here. Because I don't think it gives me back my items if I die. Sparkly, we're here to rescue you. Where are you, little shit? Okay, so what am I gonna fight? I know I'm probably fighting a dragon. Oh my! He's Mecha Gojira! Oh! What is that? Where's Brian Cranston when you need him? That's. that's not a Drago anymore. I have a bad feeling about this. It's fucking Mecha Godzilla! Surprise, motherfucker! It's fucking Mecha Godzilla, man! You can't fight that! You can't fight that! Mechagodzilla suddenly attacked! Okay, well I guess this is where I use the dragon fang and stab his dick in. Minerv grabbed the Drago fang tightly and pounced on Mechagodzilla! Stabbed the shit out of him! It pierced Mechagodzilla's tough hide. Mechagodzilla let out a howl! Oh no, he lowered my offense. Oh no, it's a good thing I don't need it, because I got explosives! Oh, 81. I did nowhere near as much damage as I wanted. Um, I just, let's just use up all my explosives, and then we'll see what I gotta do. A good thing I have some healing items as well. Oh jeez, he does like 21 damage a hit. I got one more. One more! Yeah. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Mm. Okay, so let's let's, let's... let's raise my... let's raise my defense. Okay, 11. 11 is better. Okay, let's eat the beef jerky. Come on, sign. Okay, now... strengthen. And I think I can use one more strength. Oh, Jesus. I think I can use one more strength. Yeah. Okay, because he lowered me by eight. And I think I can only raise myself by eight. So he lowered me by eight. I just brought it back up. Now I'm going to eat more jerky. Okay. Oh, wait. Shit. Can I, can I strengthen and toughen up a bit more? Okay, no. The stomp, the stomp is just super powerful. Let's try power smack. Come on, come on, come on! Yeah! Hit that motherfucker! Let's just see if we can do that again. Come on! Fuck. Okay, come on, one more. Damn it. One more, come on! Ah! Okay. 
Okay, okay, let's get beef jerky and we'll just do this the old-fashioned way then, I guess. Fuck you, Alec! We're fighting fucking Mecha Godzilla. You could stand to be less of a bitch. Oh shit, this is bad. Oh no. Damn fucking nut bread. I'm down to nut bread. I'm down to fucking nut bread. Come on, just die! Oh, use the me- oh god, I'm down the fucking medical herbs, Jesus Christ. This is super not good. This is super not good. Come on. Come on, just- just do the thing! Just win the- win the fight! Win the video game! One last attack! Oh, he's gonna die. Megadrime became tame, you won. Oh, jeez. If I didn't have as much health as I did, I probably would have died. Oh, jeez. Mechagodzilla. Mechagodzilla dead. Grandpa's dead as well, it looks like. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh good, it's dead. Oh good. Stab that son of a bitch! Fuck you, baby Godzilla. Minerf, don't do it! That won't solve anything! It'll just be super fucking rad! You only make a its child go through a sparkler and di- Yeah, but it's a fucking dinosaur! No one cares! Stab it, shit! Stab it, shit! The fucking dinosaur is crying. The fucking dinosaur is crying. Oh! It is possible that until now, the people of Tasmanly Village had never known sadness. On sunny days and cloudy days, they always greeted each other with smiles. They lived in harmony with the creatures of the forest. The strong would help the weak, and those who would share with those who had not. Those who had would share with those who had not. Shit. However, it now appears that villagers have learned all too much about sadness. Suddenly, everything is changing for the worst. Capitalism! When did this change begin? Where did it begin? What set it in motion? And why? Almost as if toys, the peaceful animals are being transformed into strange, ferocious creatures that attack people. Some people, like Minerf, have even had their families torn apart. Just what is this suspicious group that wears penis masks? What are these eerie objects that soar through the once beautiful skies? And where could the missing sparkler be? He's definitely not in that crevice down there, slowly bleeding out. The mysteries continue to pile up. And so, the first tale begins as a tragedy. Jesus. This game got metal quick. And that Drago fight was fucking bullshit. Like, at the end, it was just down to the fucking NPC. And me being lucky that the NPC realized, Oh, this motherfucker needs heals! Oh no! Spooky! Can I play as Dinky now? Hop. Hello, I am a frog. Shall I record everything that's happened so far? Yeah. Faux shizzle. Saving, please do not turn off the power. Chapter 1, End. Wait, what? Minerf... I'm not really sure- Oh, we're having a flashback now. We're having a fucking flashback now? What happened to Dreppy was a terrible tragedy. I can't say I'm failing. Do -do -boo -do -boo. Dreppy's barrel in without incident. Dinky's been crying at the grave ever since. For a little horse is about to break in two. Blah, blah, blah. 
Is there anything else like- Oh, am I gonna play as Trouble now? I think I'm gonna be playing as Trouble now. Trouble! Oh shit, I was speaking? I don't remember that. Howdy, partner. I don't remember what my nerf force was. My word. You are now playing as Trouble. Who steals shit? Chapter 2 Thief Adventure. I like how nobody is like being like, yo, does that guy steal shit? This guy steals shit, why are we trusting him? And if there's no crime, then how do they know he's a thief if he was never caught and put in the jail? Also, he walks like a shit. Trouble! I speak to you not as my son, but as my pupil. Cause we steal shit. Listen. The time has come. No, it's not something we've been looking forward to. I'd hope the time wouldn't come, if at all possible. But you and I have been constantly preparing for this day, and the event it did come. So it appears you finally have a chance to try out what I've taught you. The enemy's form is still unknown, but we must change the way we live. Are you prepared? No. I'm not prepared, old man. Trouble. Perhaps we would be better off born in a different era. Reddit.com slash r slash the wrong generation. I forced excessive training upon you at a very young age, resulting in your leg hand. Whoa! I'm playing as a cripple! Fun. At least that's my very recollection of it. And it's the fact that I failed to raise you to fit in with the other villagers. It's not my fault, or so I seem to remember. You want to hold a grudge against your father, grudge away, it's fine, you're happy, you can begrudge me all you want. But you don't get a choice in this matter, shit dick. Trouble. Listen where. It is not a test or anything of the sort. This is an order. Trouble. I am now going to give you a mission. Oh shit. You will sneak into Oshu Ka Oso o Osohi Castle. There you'll find a certain important item and bring it here. As for what certain important item is, no, there's no need for me to tell. Then how will I know what I'm stealing? If a thief can't determine the value of what he steals, he's a crazy person. It's a castle! Everything there is expensive! Yes. Tell me about the thing. It's a very important looking item. It's like... all shiny. This is a trap. I'm being sent to die. I'm being sent to die. I will say no more than that. You are going to die. In this basement, you will find items I prepared for you. The seven mystical thief tools. No, wait, where are they set? What? Why is this guy teaching people how to steal shit? He's... He's got Alzheimer's. Jesus. He's got fucking Alzheimer's. Oh, Jesus, he, he does. He's, look at him. He's like... Eh, eh, eh. I've got the limps. I've got the limps. Jesus. Oh, okay. Give trouble. I've got hypno pension. Oh, is this where I... Hmm. His weapon is his shoes. Does he just kick people's shit in? Oh, doesn't go in there. Oh, oh, that's super good. That's like that's like in uh, Earthbound, the inventor guy has all these gadgets and shit. But you have to carry them in your inventory, and you lack in, and you takes up spaces. Got a smoke bomb. President got a siren beam. Jesus, that is so much more. This was right in here is probably best on my fourth wall, but oh my god, that is that is super useful. That means I can actually use a full inventory this time. God, I hated that in Earthbound. Anyway, everybody, I'm gonna have to leave this here. As yeah, yeah. Yeah, timer says. Timer says. Blame the timer, not me. Anyway, as always, I am not Remember to like, comment, favorite, subscribe. Oh, jeez. This is this is much more this is much more in depth than Earthbound. Oh, jeez. 
And as always, I will see you in the next video. And most importantly, I will see you a round, daddy. Hit him in the balls. No. No. Fuck you, Mama Forest. See you, dead people. Confirm reports that shit's fucked.